Hello, Amanda. Hello, Diana. Amanda, Diana, how were your day? Hi. Hi. Good night. Good evening. My day was okay. Good evening. Mm -hmm. My day was okay. I. What did you do, Diane? Diana, I think maybe you have, okay, maybe you have some internet issues. Okay, Amanda, how about you? How was your day? Um, it's, um, it was good teacher, but I, I, I feel a little, uh, no, much tired. <laughs> Very tired. Be yes, uh, because I am, in, I am my, in my high season, in my work. Ah, okay. And when you're in your high season, is for the month or one week or how long is the high season? Uh, no, it's around, uh, yeah, around three months. Three months? From March, uh, from March, March to March to May. Every, every year. Wow. It's very yes. long. Yes, I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Amanda, what is your job? What do you do? I am auditor and mm -hmm. business consult. Consultant? Consulting, yes, business consulting. Okay. Mm. That's the reason. Okay, okay. But then later is more relaxed. Yes, of course. As the rest of the year is a little more relaxed. Ah, uh, okay. Well, maybe little by little, right? Uh, you have to work a little bit right now, very hard, but then in the rest of the year is more relaxed. <laughs> more or less. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, well, that's good. Monica and Helica, how about you? How was your day? Hello, teacher. Good Hello. evening. In my case, it was a relaxing day. Yeah, not, not a lot of work. For now, no. <laughs> okay. And you, Monica? Okay, <laughs> no problem, we try it, it's okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get started so that we can see, I'm going to begin by sharing the topic for unit five, okay? Here we have our topics, okay? Amanda, can you please read the objective? Yes, teacher, lesson objective. The future tense is what we use to discuss our plans and hopes. Is in this lesson, learn how to use going to and will to convert a statement to the future, future tense. English teach Joy Sang explain these two different ways to talk about future plans step by step using a, a simple form as an answer question using going to and will as auxiliary verbs and practice discussing your future plans. For example, an 
upcoming vacation holidays with family or even your plans for later in the day. Okay, so you can see this unit is really easy because the idea is talk about the future. And always we have plans for the future. Always we have uh, what we want to do, where we want to go. So today, this is the idea. First, let's watch the video with future, with going to and will. Do you have an idea, the difference, why going to or why will? Do you understand what is the difference? It's about the, the safe of the um, events pass or la probabilidad de, de ocurrencia, como se dice. Uh -huh. It's correct. Uh -huh. It's the probability, correct. So will means that is something that is maybe possible, okay? Is possible or a maybe, you think of it like a maybe. And going to, you think is like a plan, okay? Or something that is yes, okay? We're going to watch the video to be a little bit clearer but the idea is the difference is the possibility. Will, mm, I don't know, maybe. Going to is just, is my decision. This is the idea, the difference. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to talk about future plans. You'll also learn how to use be going to and will as you're expressing your future plans. For example, I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present this structure. What we want to do in this lesson is learn how to talk. It's okay or one more time? One more time, teacher, please. Okay. One more time and then we try to answer the questions. To do. I'm not sure. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. 
I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present this structure. What we want okay. to do in this lesson is learn how to talk about future. Let's take a look and try to answer those questions before we watch the rest of the video. Okay, so one, where are the girls going to stay? At a related at, beach at, house. Good. At a, at a relative beach house. Yes, that is the pronunciation. Relatives. Very good. Relatives. Beach house. Number two. What about number two? Julia is the second speaker. What plans does she have for the weekend? She's going to go to the beach with her cousin. Okay. Okay. Good. Three, what might Julia do with her cousin? Go fishing. Go fishing. Go All fishing. Right. All right. And the last, the, uh, no, sorry, not the number four. I am booked for this weekend. I. She says this. I'm center. going to mm -hmm. go camping. Okay. I'm going to go camping. And number five. What should you say if you're unsure? What should you say if you mm, you don't know? Maybe, Maybe I will leave around, around the end of June. End of June. Okay. So let's take a look. Very good. So number one, correct. At the relative's house. That's number one. Number two is correct going to stay at the beach house okay number three the cousin likes to go fishing right number four they're going to go camping and the last one number five is with the maybe when you're not sure you use the word maybe any questions teacher what yes. is booked Ah, excellent question. Is I am booked, that means I have plans for this weekend. I already have activities planned. This is I am booked. Is that okay? okay. Yes? Yes, thank okay. you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other questions? All right, great. Let's watch the rest of the video. Plans using going to and will. Now for the main part, both of those are quite similar when you express future plans, or when you express things about the future. But what we're gonna learn in this class is that we're gonna use be going to whenever you talk about something that you've decided on. That's the key here. Something that you've decided on, we're gonna use be going to. So let me give you a quick example about that. Let's say that you're gonna take a vacation. You already bought the plane ticket, you already got permission from your job. So it's very unlikely that you'll change these plans. In order to express these ideas, you're gonna use be going to to express that. So for example, I'm gonna take vacations next week. I'm gonna go to France, that's just. Okay, so according to the video, when do we use going to? In which moments do we use going to? When we have plans. Correct, when you have plans, when you have made the decision, you decided, then it's going to be going to. This is the plan. Okay, good. And always with going to, the verb is in present. Okay, going to, the verb is in present. Just a quick example there. Um, you're almost sure that that event will happen. On the other hand, let's say that you're gonna, uh, you want to take vacation, but you don't know yet. You haven't even asked your boss about it yet. And so um, you're chatting with some friends and they ask you, so what are you planning to do for your vacations? And 
Maybe you respond, well, I'm not sure. I guess I'll go to Europe next month. But I don't know. I haven't bought the tickets. I haven't asked my boss whether I can go or not. And so in order to express that idea that you haven't decided on, then we're going to use these expressions. I guess I'll just um, stay home. Th these are the examples here in the book. But um, going back to our example about vacations, I guess I'll travel, but I'm not sure where. Uh, maybe I'll go somewhere in, in Europe. I probably will go somewhere in Europe. And that's, I mean, those are just my examples on, on how uh, you will use these expressions. But the idea. Okay. So you see, when you use will, we use many expressions like, I guess, maybe, I don't know, I think, I probably, because these are all for the ideas, I don't know. And when you don't know is will. When you have the plan is going to. So you make the sentence with the subject, the verb to be, um, is or are, going to, and the verb in present, plus the complement. Is that okay? Yes, sure. teacher. Teacher, uh, con el going to, yes. uh, siempre sería going go uh, to do, going go to do. Oh, always the verb, in, for example, look here, the verb in present. Relax, go, do. Correct. Yes. Always, okay. always with the two. Correct. Always with okay. the two. Okay. So, for okay. example, I am going to stay, relax, cook, play but always the verb in present. With will, the same idea. The possibility, I guess, maybe, I think, probably, then the same. I will in the verb in present. I will watch the football game. I will play soccer. I will, the difference, the two are correct. The difference is going to is plan. Will not is a plan. Will is maybe. Okay. Any other questions? No? Use the expression store. It's okay. All right. So, how do we make the questions? The questions only, look, we change the position. No, you are going to. We change, are you? No, is he going to? Sorry, no, he is going to, is he? So to make the questions only change the position. No, I am, no, he is, no, she is, only change. Is he, is she? These are how we're going to make the questions in going to or with will for the future. It's okay? Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to talk to our partners and we're going to ask questions about the future. How? Or what are some questions that we can ask about the future? Can you repeat the question? Yes. What or what questions can we ask about the future? What can we ask our partners about the future? Like, what are you going to do? Okay, this is a good question. This is one question for the future. Good. Okay. In the chat, I'm going to help you. And I'm going to give you some questions that you can ask your partner about the future. In the chat, we have many, many questions about the future. Okay. We have like 200 questions about the future. So open the link and tell me one question from the link. 
open the link and tell me one question from the link. Guys, did you open the link? Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me one question. When will you graduate? Excellent. And I, I answer my partner. Um, I don't know. I want to study a master's. I want to study a degree. I want, I think maybe that's the idea. When will you graduate? Maybe from English. I don't know. I will finish my English next year. For example, you give, I will when you don't know. I'm going to is yes. I have the plan. I know the date. I know when. It's okay, the difference? Yes, no. Yes. Estamos confundidos. Teacher. Yes. Could you give us uh, another example? Yes. L click in the link. Please. Click in the link and ask a question. Okay. And, and there you have three links and you have 200 questions more you can ask any questions to your partner but if when you answer if you don't know you are going to answer i will and then the verb okay if yes you plan if you are clear you are going to answer i am going to and then the verb so as an example Ask me a, one question from the links. Go ahead, anybody. Cualquiera puede leer. Solo el leer una pregunta. It's okay. Okay, veo que no what está pensando hoy. All right. What, what is your lifetime dream? Oh, Mario, my lifetime three dream is I am I am going to go to to Italy. I want to visit Italy. I want to see Rome. I am going to and this is my lifetime dream is I plan because I I am going next year, okay? But si yo solo tengo la idea y no sé cuándo va a pasar, I say to Mario, Mario, ah, my lifetime dream. Ah, I will visit Italy. I will buy a house in the beach. I, porque no sé cuándo, solo me imagino. Me gustaría okay. que pasara. No lo un que sueño lo que, nada más. Es un sueño. <laughs> no es un objetivo. Okay. Esa es la diferencia. Cuando es un objetivo, tenemos un plan de acción, tenemos pasos, tenemos todo eso, es I'm going to. Cuando es una idea, un concepto, I will. Como cuando le preguntaba a mucha gente y dice, ah, quiero mi propio negocio. ¿Qué? ¿Y qué, qué vas a hacer? No sé. Eh, voy a poner, ah, ahí, desde ahí es I will. Ok. Ok. Pero, cuando, ¿qué quieres hacer? Mi propio negocio. Ah, ¿y qué vas a hacer? Oh, voy a vender. Ah, this is I'm going to. It's okay? Yes? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. La idea es solo speak, 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 and practice. Como pueden ver, es el último tema. Ya, ya es el último tema de la unidad 5. 
ya mañana simplemente es, wow, imagínese, final test, tomorrow, hmm. so tomorrow, maybe not tomorrow, maybe review tomorrow, and then así tengan el fin de semana para hacer el examen. But right now, we are going to talk about plans. Eh, solo confirmando, ¿todos tienen el link o necesitan que lo manden de nuevo, los tres links? Eh, yo acabo de entrar, teacher, no sé de qué link ah, está hablando. Ok, ok, no hay problema. Ya te mando los, ya te voy a mandar los tres links de nuevo para que así esté seguro. Copy. Gracias. De nada, ahí está el primero. Solo me confirmas que lo recibís. Sí, ya está el primero. Ok, perfect. Ok, te sugiero abrir los links porque acordate que cuando vas al grupo, lo que aparece en el chat desaparece. Ok, todos ya tienen los links. We're ready. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Let's try with our partners then. Let's practice speaking. Going to plan, will, no plan. Imagine the verb, the to, the verb in present. Aunque es el futuro, the verb in present. Porque ya el going to y el will es el futuro.
Okay, are we ready? Diana, tell me about your partner. I asked her um, what she, it, it's correct to say what she will do this weekend. Yes, correct. What she, but what she will do this weekend. What she will do this weekend mm -hmm. and she said that it's going to work both days ah. i asked her oh yes i asked her um do you want to get married and when would you get married and she said that it's not a probability that she will get married it's not it's not okay okay I ask her what will life be like when she, I don't know that that would not. <laughs> uh, I ask her how will fashion change in the future, and she thinks that it's going to be more comfortable. Okay. Also, I ask her after she graduate, will she go for a higher degree, and she said maybe some languages courses. She will take some languages courses, but not uh, a degree. And I asked her how will she use the English in the future? And she told me she will use it when she travels. Okay. Well, that's great. You learned a lot about your partner. Thank you, Diana. Very nice. Thank Good. You. All right, Angelica, tell us about your partner. Uh, well, I asked Mario, what will he do this weekend? And he answered that he is going to play basketball. Also, we are talking about um the the <laughs> the who who are who are the people um no who 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 should live on the moon <laughs> oh okay and mm -hmm. he answered that maybe extra extraterrestrial <laughs> <laughs> or aliens maybe Okay. Only that. Okay. All right. Good. Mario, what about Angelica? What did you learn about Angelica? What did you ask her? Uh, Angelica, uh, she's graduating. Uh, she will maybe marry in the future. I don't know. Uh, I think uh, not will children. I guess I like, she like, uh, likes alone lives alone lives alone okay. 
¿Qué más? She will live in Japan. 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 In France. Or France or Italy. Okay. I don't remember. But say the she uh, is done. No. So let's... <laughs> okay, Mario. Okay, I say a little <laughs> difficult. Okay, Mario. Maybe okay. not pay attention to your partner. <laughs> Como no, lo que pasa que de tanto que estamos hablando, no, no recuerdo todo lo que dijimos. Okay, no exactly, problem. teacher. <laughs> <laughs> That's sí. good. That's good. All right. Kevin, tell me about your partner, Monica. Hello, teacher. Uh, my partner would like to uh, travel to another country. Mm -hmm. And he uh, life en la study y no me acuerdo qué más hablamos <risa> mm. así que veo que como que atención al cliente no vamos a estar trabajando en ok ok no <risa> ok all right Mónica tell me about Kevin Kevin want, wants to have his own company. He wants to see Nueva Zelanda. He, he wants to have his own house. Only that, Monica. No sé si lograron escuchar. Lo uh, último que escuchamos era his own house. Sí, he, he wants to ha, have his own house. And that's it. The business, New Zealand, and the house. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, all right. That's good. Hey, it's okay. You don't have to remember everything. The important is you are talking, you are asking your partners. Excellent. Easy topic, going to and will? Any questions for going to or will? Teacher. No, teacher. El will. No necesariamente tiene que ir. Puede ir, eh, por ejemplo, maybe o I guess. No necesariamente tiene que llevar la, hora, eh, la respuesta I will. No, puedes usar otras formas. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, sí, es que si estamos alguien... viendo con Angélica, uh -huh. que no necesariamente tiene que ir a la, a la I will. Eh, la mayoría de veces sí va a ir o, uh -huh. o va a ir going to or will, pero hay otras estructuras que también se usan para el futuro. Entonces, por ejemplo, si yo te digo, What are you going to do or after graduation? Vos me puedes decir también, así como no me acuerdo quién dijo, pero eh, di, um, dijeron uh, want to. Ah, también se puede usar. O sea, yo quiero o, o yo quiero hacer esto cuando me termino. So I want to visit Spain. I want to live in Italy. También eso. Entonces okay. no solo necesariamente es I'm going to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Solo que going to y will son los más comunes para hablar de futuro. Porque cuando decís I want to, I, I love, normalmente se refiere al presente. Lo que lo cambia para el futuro es el tiempo. Teacher. Yes. Y si yo quisiera decir como me gustaría al momento de contestar eh, un will, se uh -huh. podría, I would like to, o no. Sí, correcto. Sería con el would. Muy bien. Es I would like to. 
no sonaría, digamos, si yo digo, I probably will, y después, I would like to, no sería como repetitivo. O... Es que vas a usar, I would like to. Uh -huh. Y si vas a usar la palabra, por ejemplo, eh, probablemente o tal vez o algo así, normalmente no lo vas a poner los dos, pero I would probably, lo vas a poner I would. Y no vas a poner like to, sino que, por ejemplo, eh, yo probablemente y el verbo, I would probably buy a house, I would probably visit my sister, así. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other questions? Teacher, y cuando alguien quiere decir, quizás como por ejemplo, ahorita no pienso en casarme, pero en un futuro, tal vez quiera. Ese, cuando yeah. sea el tal vez, es I will. I will. Y, y cuando vos decís tal vez, tal vez es maybe. Entonces vas a decirlo exactamente como suena. I maybe I will y después el verbo. Por ejemplo, maybe I will get married in five years. Maybe I will have a baby. In... Y puedo decir maybe I will want. Que tal vez voy a creer, no. I will want to. Ahí vas a usar el want to. Ah, okay. Maybe I will want to. Exacto. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? No, teacher. Okay. If no questions, vamos a pausar ahí. Acuérdense que mañana es el último viernes que tenemos clase porque la otra semana ya finalizamos. Y como ya finalizamos la unidad 5, mañana solo va a ser repaso de las unidades para que el fin de semana puedan hacer el examen. Ok, teacher. Ok. Ok, teacher. All right. Okay, teacher. Goodbye. Have a nice night. Okay, good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night.